Now that you have some basic modeling and manipulation tools under your belt, let's go ahead and work with some colors. Blender allows you to color or texture your objects with what are called materials. And materials are a sh basically shader system that allow you to adjust the colors, specularity, and things like that of your model. So working with the default cube here, we can go over to one of the new properties panels that we've not yet explored. And the one that we want is the one with the small red circle here. So if we left click on it, you'll see that we're bring, brought up with all the different material properties. And there's a lot of different settings here, and I'm not going to cover most of those, but I will show you a few of the basics just to get you started. Now by default, the cube has a material applied to it. If your object does not have a material, such as, as now, you can simply click the new button right here with the plus sign to add a new material. Which point, you may name that material right here, such as cube, and then you can adjust some settings. First off, you'll notice that we have a preview here of what our material is supposed to look like. And we can adjust the, the color via the diffuse right here, which if you left click on the white here, you're given a color wheel to adjust that color. Perhaps we'll give it a nice green. As you can see, it's been modified here and real time in the viewport here. Next, perhaps we want to adjust the specularity or the shine on the model that's picked up from the lighting highlights. We can do that underneath the specular panel. We can change the color of that specular so that we can make it blue if we wish. We can increase the intensity. And we can increase the hardness or the, the softness of this model. So the lower the hardness, the softer this highlight will be. The hard, harder or the higher the hardness, the sharper it'll be. It's good to use high value for things like glass and metal, and very soft values for very soft objects such as cloth, clothing, and things like that. Now, there's just one more setting that I'd like to show you, as these are just the very, very basics to get you started. We're going to ignore the shading panel, but I want to move on to the transparency panel, as transparency is something that you'll probably want to use a lot. For example, if you're creating a glass bottle, a wine glass, or anything along those lines. To enable transparency, you simply left click on the checkbox here, and then you can left click on the arrow to toggle it down. And starting out, the only setting that you need to worry about is the alpha here, which the alpha, if we toggle down these settings to sh so that we can view our, our preview, the alpha allows you to affect how transparent this object is. So at one, percent, or at one alpha, it's going to be completely solid. But if we change that down by left click and dragging on the slider to say 0.5, it'll be 50% transparent, or at zero, 100% transparent. And so this allows us to create things like glass when mixed in with other settings to enhance our render. Now, we're going to ignore rest of these settings for the time being as there is a lot there. So I highly suggest you go ahead and play around with some colors and the shading and the specular with, for the and even transparency. One other thing that I can show you just real quick is if you want to preview this on a different object, say for example a cube, since we are working with a cube here, you can simply left click on any one of these buttons here to adjust the preview model. And that's that. It's very very basic co coloring within Blender and perhaps if you find this interesting, go ahead and browse our other texturing and materials tutorials on Blender Cookie, or wait for the Blender 2.5 training series where we will be covering all of these settings in depth.